Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm Amy. And we're Martin Midlife Misadventures. Tell them what we're doing today. Well, she's taking you into the pantry. I am. And I'm going to go finish digging a hole. She's digging holes. We had a... What happened? A uh, pipe to one of the outside faucets uh, busted, so, so we're digging it up. So Amy and Grandpa are digging holes today, and I'm taking you into the pantry to show you 25 plus things that you can buy to get started on the cheap. I mean the cheap in your prepper pantry. A lot of us have very tight budgets right now, yeah. and, and a lot of people say they can't afford to put anything back. So I want to show you some items, items that we've actually bought and that we actually eat um, that we've bought on the cheap. Yeah, and that's the only way to do it right now. You're right. <laughs> so let's get started. All right, everybody, before we get started with the food, I want to say, and maybe you'll answer it when I ask the question, what's the most important thing? Number one, water. Always make sure that you are stocking your water and you have a way to purify it, all right? Let's get started. All right, let's get into this. We are inside our pantry, and I'm going to show you what we have been able to buy very cheap to stock this pantry. The number one thing is Northside. You see them on everybody's videos. These happen to be the rice ones all in this container. And right here, we have some pasta ones. These are great because you can usually find them for a round of dollar and they are stretchable. You can add cans of vegetables, fresh vegetables, canned meats, and really stretch a meal with just one packet of this Northside's. Along with that, at the Dollar Tree, you can find these bags of jasmine rice. I am loving this rice, and for one dollar, it's one pound. You're not going to find jasmine rice any cheaper than that. Another kind of rice that we found at the Dollar Tree are these yellow rice packets. They are delicious. You can cook them in a rice cooker or on the stove. Again, another vehicle for other things. You can add meats, vegetables, all kinds of things to this. And this only costs a dollar. That is fantastic. The next item we're going to talk about are pre-box mixes, such as these Jiffy corn mix. You can usually find these around two for a dollar, depending on your area, or something like this, these Jiffy pizza crust mix, usually around a dollar for those. So good to have these on hand. The other kind of bread mixes we like to buy on the cheap are these biscuit mixes. Lots of different types of biscuit mixes. We've got Sopalia mix. Hush Puppies, uh, Buttermilk Cornbread, Texas Style Cornbread. You see what I'm saying, everybody? Here's some Mexican Cornbread. These, I don't think we paid even a dollar for one bag of these. You can usually find them between like 80 and 90 cents at your local grocery store. So stock up on these kind of things. Super cheap and super delicious. I brought this box out specifically because I had marked the price on it that we paid. We paid 89 cents, everybody, for one pound of pasta. Pasta is generally super, super cheap, easy to store. And let me give you an example because another thing I think is great to stock up on is macaroni and cheese. Remember the other day we got three boxes for a dollar? One of the ways that I like to package it is like this. This mason jar has five boxes of macaroni and cheese in it and all the powdered cheese pouches I've put on top. On the very top here, you can see it says Mac. I know it's macaroni and cheese. It says one and one third cup. I had measured out how much macaroni was in each box and one and one third cup of macaroni is all you need to make it. I've made macaroni a million times, so I don't need any other instructions. Five boxes of macaroni, everybody. This is a great deal and a great way to package it. Let's talk about rice -roni. This isn't something we have a lot of, but I do like to keep a few on hand, and I'm going to need to repackage this just the way I did the macaroni. The rice is just floating in there, okay, everybody? So you need, if you want to keep it long term, it really is best to repackage it kind of in a way I did with the macaroni or in a Mylar bag, a Gatorade bottle, whatever. Just write the instructions on the bottle and you'll be good to go. 
The next thing I want to talk about is Hamburger Helper. And yes, we buy the generic kind too. It's just as good. What I love about these is you can usually find them for around a dollar a box. And contrary to popular belief, you do not have to put meat in these. Now, if you have some canned meats, roast beef, chicken, turkey, you can even use tuna in these. They have tuna helpers as well. This is a great way to use the items in your prepper pantry if you don't have any meat, then you can just add vegetables, everybody. And it is very delicious. I have done it before when money was tight. So really look for these, uh, the generic ones you usually can find for a dollar or less. I don't know how much we paid for this twin pack. We've had it for a while, but do look for these types of meals as well as Look at here, I wanted to show you. We paid 85 cents for these all gratin potatoes. This is another good vehicle to add other things to. You can add meat to it. You can add other vegetables to it. It just makes sense to pick up things like this when you find them on sale. And you can do like we did with the macaroni on this. Remember the macaroni? Put it in a jar, put the packet of seasoning in there with it, and you're going to be good to go. All right, the next thing on the list, of course, is beans. This is an eight pound bag. Obviously, isn't going to be as inexpensive as buying a one pound bag. See all these bags? One pound each. Different varieties of beans. You generally can get these for a dollar or less per bag at your local Walmart. It is a very, very great way to stock up on some good for you, high protein, nutritious food for long term. You can package it in many different ways. Look at this, everybody. This is an instant coffee uh, container that we kept and we have packed it with navy beans. Another way we've done it is in mason jars. You don't have to have mason jars. Just save jars as you empty them, clean them very well, and then you can fill them with your beans as well as your rice. We also have some in mylar, okay? You can also put them in mylar bags. Whatever works for you, it doesn't have to be expensive. Save those Gatorade bottles, two liter bottles, whatever you have on hand so you can protect this food once you acquire it. All right, next on the list is instant mashed potatoes. The plain ones are the best because the only ingredient is potatoes. If you get it packaged properly, get it in a jar, put it in some mylar. These ha are, we have a bunch of these full of mashed potatoes and I've written one cup of water to two thirds a cup of flakes equals two servings. All right. I know how to make instant mashed potatoes. That's the only information I need on that package. Now what I really like about these because they're generally around a dollar each is that they do have flavor in them. If you did not have access to fresh butter, cream, milk, Milk, those types of things. You can just add hot water, mix these up, and you're going to have a very delicious treat for you and your family. All kinds of different flavors and all kinds of different brands. Great Value actually has a really great uh, mashed potato. Another kind of potato I like to keep on hand are these instant hash browns. As long as you get them in a container, put put an oxygen absorber in there with them. These are going to last you a really, really long time. Now, I don't need instructions on here because I've made these a million times. So if you're somebody who needs instructions, you would just write it right here on your lid. I got to talk about the salt. It's something you really should stock up in your prepper pantry. The average person needs a roughly five pounds of salt a year. So make sure you get a variety of different types of salts. This one was actually purchased at the dollar store. Can you believe it? All this pink Himalayan salt for $1. So do the math. How many family members do you have? And uh, it would be so easy in one trip to stock up for a year's worth of salt for your family. Now, you're going to need some fruit, and there's a lot of different uh, varieties, brands, everything, but these particular brands that I have here, these sliced pears, I bought these at the dollar store. The mandarin oranges, bought these at the dollar store. So you can stock up on canned fruits on the cheap. If you just go to the dollar store, they will have something. Just get whatever they have.
All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is vinegar, white vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is excellent to have, but it has a heavier price tag. If you can afford the apple cider, absolutely pick that up, but also get some distilled white vinegar. It's good for so many different things other than canning and cooking. It is a great way to clean windows and disinfect all kinds of different things. So stock up on some vinegar this distilled white vinegar by the gallon is usually under $3, so get as much of this as you can. All right, everybody, we're going to talk about flowers, okay? We've got some yellow cornmeal, which this is a nice small container, and I think we paid about $1.50 for it. So you can find cornmeal at your dollar stores. Make sure you pick that up. And flour. Flour doesn't have to come in these huge 20 pound bags. It is more cost effective that way. But if you don't have that money to spend, buy you the little one pound containers at the dollar store so you can at least get started on having a nice stock of flour. All right, next are our Hunt's pasta sauces. These run about a dollar a can, everybody. This one's meat, traditional garlic. You can feed a family of four or six easily with one can of this sauce, plus a little pasta added to it. It's just a phenomenal deal, but you've got to watch your tomato products because tomato products and high acid fruit canned products have a tendency to want to explode and give you problems when they're after their expiration date. So always keep an eye on those tomato products. Another tomato product that's great, tomato paste. You can turn this one little jar of tomato paste into an entire pot of pasta sauce if you add your onions and garlic and seasoning and all those good things to it. You can usually get these about two for a dollar, so I highly recommend tomato paste as well as tomato sauces. This one happens to be roasted garlic tomato sauce. They're little cans. We paid three for a dollar on these, and it was a fantastic deal. Again, you can use these to make your own tomato sauces, to make your own sloppy joes, just anything tomato-based. These are really great and super cheap to have on hand. I want to show you this. This is hot dog sauce, original hot dog sauce. We paid 50 cents a can for these. There's no meat in them. It's just like a sauce. But again, you can pour this over rice, pasta, hot dogs. There's so many different ways to use this product, and they usually run about 50 cents a can. So really look for this hot dog chili sauce. Next, I want to talk about gravy. In this box here, these are all brown gravies. I've purchased them basically three packs at a time over the last year, and I now have enough to last us probably two years. Now, having gravy on hand is so great because it will allow you to add flavor to any of the foods that you are cooking so you do not suffer food fatigue. We want those flavors. You could, you could mix this up, and you only mix it with water. So it is just so great to have. You could put it over rice rice, pasta, meats, name it, it, vegetables. Having gravy mixes is such a great thing. We also have a bunch of these turkey gravies as well as country gravy mixes. These are great for breakfast over uh, country fried steaks. See how they show it here on the picture? But you can use this white gravy in so many different ways. Same thing. You can usually find them on sale. Two for a dollar. Pick them up when they're on sale. Don't feel like you need to buy 20 at a time. Just buy two at a time. And believe me, they add up quick because that's what we've done with all of this. None of this was bought in a bulk situation. You've got your peppered gravies. You know what you like, what your family will enjoy, so try to stock up on those flavors. You can also find these Velveeta cheese sauces at the Dollar Tree. I have some out of the packet here. And with this, all you do is you pour it over your pasta or vegetables, and you instantly have a cheesy sauce that's really delicious. You could put it on your rice as well, and everybody will be happy to have some flavor in their life. Next item is bouillon. I believe we paid about $1.29 per container of bouillon we have. Another excellent way to add flavor to your foods. There's other kinds of bouillon that come in cubes. And you could purchase these kind of things as well. 
anything to add flavor. So that takes us to seasonings. What you can do is when you go to the dollar stores or even Walmart, Walmart has a section where each of the bottle of spices are like 98 cents. Every time you go, pick up one or two of your favorite spices and maybe pick up some other ones that you haven't tried before. In this container here, it's filled with packets like this. Seasoning that I've bought in these plastic containers. I filled this pretzel nugget container with those. They are nice and sealed. Nothing in this container is going to go bad. That's a great way to store them. All the other seasonings we have in drawers, we have in buckets, all different flavors. Tons of different flavors. Anything, peppercorns. Stock up on your seasonings because if you can flavor the foods, the rice, the beans, it is going to make all the difference in your world. And seasonings aren't that expensive if you shop at the right place. Next, I want to talk about teas. These teas right here came from the dollar store. Couldn't be more thrilled about that. Another way to get fresh product, I find these in the Hispanic section of the grocery store. This was only a dollar, and this is fresh chamomile flour, so we can make our own tea. You just need to really shop those international aisles. You can find some of the neatest products and for very cheap prices. So now we've got teas. This Sleepy Time tea we actually bought on sale. Look at that, $1. You've got to shop for the sales, but these kind of things are going to bring us great comfort when we don't have access to go to the grocery store. All right, next we're going to talk about drink mixes. If you can pick up these, these are Flavor Aid, but it's the same thing as Kool Aid. If you can find ways to flavor your water, it'll help everybody feel like they're getting a treat and they're not just having plain water all the time. Flavor aids, iced teas, these we only paid a dollar a bag and we actually have a lot of these southern sweet teas. They are delicious. So look for deals on uh, drink mixes. Everybody likes to have a nice, tasty little drink every now and then. You can also look for things like this at the dollar store. We have found this spice apple cider at the dollar store many times, as well as hot cocoa packets. If you can find these at your dollar store, stock up on them. It's something different, and everybody will be happy to have a nice apple cider warm drink. Chef Boyardee, everybody. You can usually find these at Walmart for less than a dollar a can, and I I highly recommend. It's got lots of vitamins, vegetables. It has meat in it. It's just all around a solid good meal. And you know what? You can eat it right out of the can. It doesn't even have to be heated. So we like to keep raviolis, beefaronis. I even keep SpaghettiOs on hand because I absolutely love SpaghettiOs. But this is something that's going to cost you less than a dollar and it's just such a great thing to have on hand. Over here, I want to talk about some meats. Now this is budget, okay? We're looking for cheap items we can add to our pantry. At the Dollar Tree, you will find these cans of white turkey. Now let me tell you, these are delicious. I have used them in so many different ways, and I'm telling you right now, if you can find this white turkey, pick it up, and it's only a dollar a can. Another item you can buy for roughly a dollar a can... Next item, bologna in a can. You heard me right. This is an 11 ounce container. These are packed with meat. They are not filled with fluid like the canned chickens and tunas and turkeys. This is a solid piece of chicken bologna in here, 11 ounces of it for $1. Look for it at Dollar General and your family dollar stores. This is a great, great product. Now, we're going to talk about tuna fish because it comes in so many different packagings, okay? These little cans of tuna, I think we ended up finding them at Walmart on sale for like 77 cents. Could not even believe it, and you will find them at the dollar store. But just like I said, we bought these for 77 cents. So check at your local Walmarts and superstores first because they actually might have a cheaper deal on your tuna fish. Vienna Sausage Bites. Amy and I buy the chicken ones, and we are very happy with them. These 
generally run around a dollar a container and you can find them at the dollar store. So if you haven't tried Vienna sausages, get a small container and try them out and think of ways that you could use them. I did do a video where I made some uh, barbecue beans from them and they were absolutely delicious. So I highly recommend this product. You usually can get them for around a dollar a container ramen noodles. These happen to be the cup ones, but we also have the block ones as well. This is something you can stock up on and you can use those noodles in so many different ways. If you have the bricks, you don't have to use the seasoning that comes with them. And quite often, I don't. Just the other night, I made some chicken ramen and I added two cans. For me, Amy and Grandpa, we had two small cans of chicken to it, as well as a can of mixed vegetables. And let me tell you, it was delicious. Don't underestimate uh, these ramen noodles as a great addition to your prepper pantry and they are cheap enough to where we all could pick some up. Two, three packs, something like that each time we go to the store. Now I want to talk about meat pouches. There's several different kinds. Every single one of them that I have here we paid one dollar for, okay? These bumblebees are great because they come with a spoon. It's already ready to go. It's tuna salad. Now this is just chunk light tuna and water, ready to go. Eat it right out of the package. Now you have tunas that are flavored, tuna creations, lemon pepper. You can also find these salmon packets. Now I do believe we paid $1.29 for this salmon packet, but I think it's worth it. Salmon is so good for you, and especially people who have uh, health restrictions. It's a really great fish for you to add to your diet. And these packets are cheap. We also found this uh, premium white chicken. It's a lemon pepper flavor. We also have some regular flavors. Again, around a dollar a pouch. A really easy way to add some proteins that are ready to eat to this prepper pantry. All right, next, milk products from the dollar store. You heard me right. You can get this one quart of 2% reduced milk. They have whole milk, skim milk, all of it. But it's only a dollar, everybody. And let me tell you, you put this in the refrigerator, get it nice and cold. It's actually very, very delicious. Amy and I use this all the time. I bake with it, cook with it, put it on my cereal. I really hardly even notice the difference. Another thing you can get at the dollar store that is a great deal is this. They call it evaporated creamer, but it's evaporated milk. It is great. It is no different than Carnation or any other brand. Only difference is it's only costing you a dollar for the exact same amount of product you're getting with the name brand. All right, the next thing I want to talk about are condiments. That's right. Now, you can find small jars of hot sauces, tapatio, things of that nature, all at the dollar store, everybody. Pick you up some nice flavors in these hot sauces. You can get bottles of vinegar. This is an apple cider vinegar that we bought at the dollar store. If we look further into my condiment cabinet here, you'll see things like mustard, these Skippy Singles, which actually came from the dollar store. Lots of ketchups. Now, my sweet baby Ray's never been able to find that at the dollar store, and that's okay. But you can find barbecue sauces like this. See, I, I have one dollar on it. That's what we paid for this bullseye. You don't have to be without these flavors. Just shop around at the dollar stores and get what you can. One thing I love to find at the dollar store is coconut oil. It's not a huge container, but it's awesome to cook with, and it is cheap to buy at the dollar store. It's getting very expensive. It, like, became a fad. So when you find these little jars of coconut oil at the dollar stores, pick them up. Now we need to talk about oatmeal. Oatmeal is so incredibly healthy, and they have these bags at Dollar Tree of these outrageous quick oats. We probably have uh, eight or ten bags of them, and they will be gone by the end of winter because Amy loves her oatmeal. These are delicious. We've eaten a ton of them, and to, for just a dollar at the dollar store, I'm telling you, you cannot beat that price. Try to pick you up some outrageous quick oats or any other kind of oatmeal they sell at the dollar stores because a dollar is a deal.
Let's talk about sugar. Inside this Vito Vault here, we have tons of sugar, mainly white sugar, but we also have powdered sugar, brown sugar, all kinds of sugar. At the dollar store, you can buy a one pound container of sugar for a dollar. I know it's not such a great deal compared to buying it in bulk, but if it's all you have and you want to get a variety, start stocking up on your sugars from the dollar stores. They will add up very quickly. All right, let's talk about soup, okay? At the dollar store, you can find a variety of soups. You can find these 25% bigger cans of chicken noodle, tomato, and vegetable beef soup for a dollar. It is a fantastic deal. I actually like to take this vegetable beef and put it over mashed potatoes. And let me tell you something, Amy suffers from diverticulitis, and when she is having a flare-up, she has to have a completely soft diet. I will blend this vegetable beef soup up to a like baby food. I will blend it inside of my uh, blender and pour it over mashed potatoes and it just tastes like mashed potatoes and gravy and it makes her so happy when she's not able to eat the things she normally can. Now these bigger containers of soup, they're excellent too, but they're more pricey. If you are on a budget, we're talking cheap stuff here, everybody. These are the types of soups that you can get really, really cheap. You can also get things like olives, mushrooms. We were able to find most of these at the dollar stores. Um, these came from our local grocer and I bought them on sale, but I do have other ones that we found like these olives here. We found these at the dollar store. You just cannot beat that. And then you have some of those little pleasures on hand, um, that seem like they're just such a great treat and it's only a dollar. Canned vegetables, all kinds of canned vegetables. Now, in a lot of places around the United States right now, you can still get two cans of vegetables for a dollar at Walmart. Stock up on your canned veg, everybody. This is not a deal at the dollar store because if you shop other places, you can actually find it cheaper. So always be looking for that deal when you're out there. Let's talk about muffin mixes. Now you can generally find these type of muffin mixes for under a dollar. And do you see what it says right there? Just add milk. And guess what? It doesn't have to be milk. You can add water to these and they rise just like they do with milk. So it's something to think about on all these just add milk. You could mix up a little powdered milk if you wanted to, but it's not necessary. You can make these with just water. So for under a dollar for these muffin uh, bags, I think that is a really, really great deal. All right, we're going to talk about some baking goods. We already talked about our cornmeal. But you can also find items like this at the dollar store. This is a Jet Puff Marshmallow. We, we paid $1.30 for it over at Big Lots, but you can actually find them for a dollar at the dollar stores. You can find these little containers of frosting for a dollar. I don't keep a lot of it because I make my own, but I do like to have some on hand just in case I have to throw something together very fast. A lot of these cake mixes that I have, I only paid a dollar for. Shop your sales. You need to have some of these comforts, everybody. If there's a birthday, some kind of celebration, holiday, won't it be nice to be able to have a, a nice cake to share with your family? I, I feel very strongly about that. So don't put off getting some yummy stuff because those are the things that we are used to and we need to have those kind of comforts in our life. Another thing you can stock up on is some popcorn. Most people with dietary restrictions can eat popcorn as well, unless you suffer from like diverticulitis like Amy does. She is not allowed to have any seeds or skins or nuts. So her diet is a, a little different than mine, but we've been able to fare well anyways. Now this corn, I can grind it. I can grind this corn down into cornmeal if I want to. It's another option, but I love popcorn and I am going to always keep that on hand. All right, let's talk about pancake mix. This one we paid $4.95, and this came from Big Lots. This is just as an example. They do sell pancake mixes at the dollar stores. If you haven't stocked up on some pancake mixes, 
please do yourself a favor and get some of those. If you can buy it in a larger quantity, it's going to be cheaper. But if you're just getting started and have a limited budget, just get some from the dollar store to get you started. All right, I also want to talk about canned beans, all different kinds of canned beans. If you go to the Dollar Tree, you can find this big can of kidney beans. It's one pound, three ounce can of beans. It's a great deal, super healthy. Try to pick those up if you go to the dollar store. You can also find these seasoned lima beans, seasoned butter beans. These we found on sale the other day, this plain chili beans. These are great to have, and you usually can find this kind of thing for under a dollar. That way you have beans that are ready to go. All right, everybody, what do you think about that list? These are the things that we use. It was important to me that I show you things that we actually have and use. I don't want to ever steer anyone wrong in, in a bad direction as far as food goes. Now, you may not like the same things that we like, and we may not like the same things that you like, but maybe you can get some ideas from this on how to slowly get started on building that prepper pantry, especially if you are on a tight budget. We totally get it. This food, this pantry, this has taken a long time for us to accumulate this, and we do not take that lightly. I, I really hope you all are listening to everything that's going on in the world, not just here in the United States, because you know what? It's super concerning that the leaders of other countries are telling their people to prepare. They are telling them to prepare and to stock food. But our leaders are not doing that, and I don't get that. I really think it's by design. So get out there, fill your pantries in the best way you can. Of course, it's always more financially sound and cheaper if you can afford to buy in bulk. You're always going to get more for your money, but some people just cannot do that, and they would like to have a variety. These dollar stores are a great, great way to make that happen. Please leave us some suggestions down in the comments of other food items that you have found at the dollar stores that somebody else may be interested in, or even we're interested in. We are always looking for suggestions. We want to thank you all so much for watching, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we are going to be talking to you really soon. My kitty's sleeping right there. Look at her. God bless you all.